All right, all right, all right, we're back. I'm Strategic Sully, and I'm here to bring you all your tips, your tricks, your strategies you need to dominate at Mobile Gaming. With that being said, let's get into some Clash Royale today on the main account, Sully Man. We're going to be getting into some live challenges with you guys, see how far we can get with this Helmeted Havoc deck that we have created. All of these troops have helmets. We're going to get into the challenges, but before we do that, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, show your support to the channel, and let's get right into it. I have never used this deck before. Four. I don't know what we're gonna do for a push really we have elite barbarians we have two princes we also have the infernal dragon this is definitely gonna be an interesting style of play we have going on here let's drop elite barbarians right here it's going to get rid of the ice spirit very early we're gonna see what he does next unfortunately we don't really have any DD if we see a skeleton army let me tell you right now we are gonna be screwed because we do not have the log or the zap so elite barbarian able to get rid of all the guards now he's working on a valkyrie along with the mega minion we were able to do some damage to the tower but not as much as the hog rider was able to do to our left tower we let that valkyrie expire we could respond to this archer why not we're going to send in the musketeer and then we're going to send in the dark prince and see what we can do with this he probably has no idea what kind of deck this is he's got the infernal tower which we're going to be able to shut down you know that's an interesting fact i want to bring up did you see how fast that infernal tower took out the dark prince it attacks the shield, okay, and then it attacks the Dark Prince. Two different targets because the shield pops off and then it targets the body of the Dark Prince, but the damage does not reset. Why does that happen? I do not know and I really think it should happen in the game. Like, it should reset. Like, think about it. If it locks on to one target and then another, it's got to reset the damage. I feel like that's the same thing that should happen for the shield. I don't know why that doesn't happen. Comment down below. What do you guys think about that? I really think that's like a flaw in the game right now. With the Inferno Tower and the Inferno Dragon, they both have this problem. I've seen it happen to both of them. And you guys probably will too, due to the fact that we have the Inferno Dragon on our deck. Now we have the Musketeer popping some really good shots off on the tower. He wants to set up with another Hog Rider. Another problem with this deck that I have is the fact that it does not feature in defenses. Well, we're going to be able to throw in, ooh, let's do a Dark Prince and then a Miner and see what we can do here. So thankfully the Inferno Tower locked onto that guard for just a split second, but we still could not take it out. Miner's doing some good damage to the tower. Now we got to build up on a defense because we're going to see that Hog Rider come in, probably with a Valkyrie in front of it, if I was to guess. There's just the lone Hog Rider. Let's throw the guards in. The Musketeer and guards are able to do good work to that Hog Rider. Now let's see what he's going to play. He's going to play Valkyrie. Let's do a Miner in the back and see what we can do. Dark Prince, Prince, Musketeer action. I don't think he's going to be able to stop this. He didn't even have a chance. Let's throw in the Inferno Dragon. I mean, we might as well. He's got to show some love during this match as well. Elite Barbies didn't do as much as I was hoping them for. Let's put him in the middle, in that corner to do some havoc to that right tower and the king tower. We probably would have 3 crowned him. That was the first match. We're going to get into another one because this deck's pretty fun. Ooh, we're back in Pekka's Playhouse. Now, I don't know how many matches I'm going to show to you guys. I obviously can't show you guys them all due to the fact that the video would be incredibly long. So, I'll show you the good ones, some highlights from the ones I don't feature. And we're going to see how far we can go. So, he's got a pump down. We have to minor it due to the fact that the pumps need to be dealt with. And he is really our only DD in this deck. So, now we have the Dark Prince moving in. Actually, almost getting the charge shot. Or did he get the charge shot? I think he might have gotten the charge hit off on the tower which is really nice we're gonna drop guards for the electro wizard because he cannot back him up i already know he does not have enough elixir along with that we're gonna send in the prince due to the fact that the guards will be able to protect him even just a little bit will help except when it's a golem because everything just wants to attack that golem i would really love a really good splash damage unit right about now but unfortunately that's not what i have so elite barbs are gonna go down Watch the Elite Barbs next time I hold them. I won't place them right away. And it almost looks like their helmets are like gold. It's crazy. Musketeer is going to go down. 
and so is that left tower because you want to know why why wouldn't it when there's a baby dragon minions and golemites locked onto it so mega minions gonna do some work to the baby dragon actually able to take it out which isn't bad now is this match gonna go the way we want it to I can't guarantee anything we're gonna sit in the minor, we're gonna see what he does, probably drop some skeletons. He drops the Electro Wizard, and I'm actually able to still get three shots off on the pump, which I'm happy with. He's gonna send in this Electro Wizard. I almost wanna take the damage, and I'm actually going to. I know it's gonna be like a crucial amount of damage, but we need to build up a push to this left side if we wanna have any chance of winning. So now we have a Dark Prince Prince combo. He doesn't have anything to deal us with. We do have the Inferno Dragon that he has not seen yet. Unfortunately, Prince does not take the tower. Inferno Dragon goes down along with Elite Barbarians. He's going to have to deal with this. Now we can minor the left of that tower and we should be able to do a substantial amount of damage to it. Now we won't be able to take it down it looks like, which means we need to cycle back to our miner incredibly quickly dark prince goes down in front of the musketeer we're going to play a prince in the back right because we don't want to play the inferno dragon just yet it's going to be taken out too easily along with that let's play a mega minion and a miner in front of the tower now because he's not expecting that and then with that ooh, this is looking not too good let's draw some elite barbarians on the electro wizard and then some guards in front of the golemites just to give it a little bit of distraction time maybe just maybe if we had some crucial crucial direct damage we could have taken out the baby dragon and electro wizard combo so we're one in one right now we're gonna get into another one with the helmeted havoc we're in the bone pit we're gonna run into some trouble here this is where the trouble was ran into we haven't lost yet though folks we have not lost yet musketeer and, there, and, then, and then we lost that left tower, so that became problematic. And now, oh, I didn't even see the three musketeers in the corners, but you know what? Sure enough, we're able to get Inferno Tower down and a minor to his King Tower before we were three crowned. Yes, just before we were three crowned. We're going to get into another one. We're one and two right now, so we're not doing too hot with this deck, but I didn't really think it was going to be that great anyway. Sometimes I just like to try out random decks for fun, see how they do. We're going against Silent Kiwi. Silent Kiwi. Let's see if we can make him throw a taunt or two, make him not be so silent. Musketeer in the back left. What to do now? He's got a bowler. Distracting the bowler with a miner behind him is never a bad move with the musketeer taking it out. Just I don't believe we're going to be able to manage that. So let's send in the miner now. Maybe we can get it to happen. Yes, we actually are, which is really nice. Now the Mega Minion Musketeer should be able to take out the bowler. How he got a rock off, nobody really knows. Now we have um, one minion with one skeleton moving in. We've done very minimal damage to the tower. He's got a tombstone, which we could become problematic. Now he's got a giant coming down. We really don't know what's happening next. Let's throw guards to protect the prince, along with a musketeer, just in case we see something crazy. So here's that giant with the musketeer. Infernal Dragon is basically useless when the Electro Wizard is in the arena. Now, let's throw a Mega Minion on top of this Electro Wizard. A log would be phenomenal right now. Unfortunately, is a log is a card we just don't have in our deck right now because it doesn't have a helmet on it. And the Electro Wizard almost takes the tower. Now we're going to reset, rebuild, repush towards that left tower and see if we can do anything, you know, productive with our lives. Silent Kiwi is really taking our helmets off with this one. Let's do a Dark Prince to the back left he knows we don't have anything for the graveyard so let's do a prince right here beautiful if you hit the tower i'm gonna kill you how did that happen that was coming at such a hard angle i don't believe that to be even feasible now let's drop elite barbarians prince comes all the way back takes out the elite barbarians that was phenomenal by him let's drop guards because he wants to do that Dark Prince, we might be able to set up with something here, folks. That would be just fantastic. Dark Prince moves in. I'm telling you, it's it's really the minions that are killing us. We're going to see a tombstone pop up right about now, of course. Why wouldn't we? Because, of course, the one thing we didn't want to see is a tombstone. I wouldn't say this went great, but you know what? It could have been... We could have went 0-3. 
ended up going ended up going one and three which like i said is better than oh and three maybe we could pop a legendary in this chest that would be phenomenal all right we're here ready to open up the chest three rares is what we are guaranteed maybe we can pop more than that 1900 gold six archers 21 barbarians and three barbarian huts this was an incredibly crappy chest all right so helmeted havoc i don't know i don't think it's a great deck it needs some things changed in it to perform better in challenges and probably ladder play although i wouldn't dare take this into ladder play without upgrading the elite barbarians and the dark prince to the max level that i can at least upgrade them to comment down below if you guys want me to use a different style of deck in a challenge it's got to have a type into it like all of this had helmets if you guys want to throw me one maybe i'll do it in another video we'll see about that but with that being said all my social media handles are right there boom 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 links are down in the description check them out and as always thank you for watching subscribe down below i want to catch you all in the next episode